This is alternative political analysis and this will be an update on Trump's cabinet and executive office. Now, Rex Tillerson has been named as Secretary of State and he graduated from the University of Texas with a science bachelor. He is the chair of Exxon Mobil and he is also the chief executive officer of Exxon Mobil and he makes 27 million and 200 thousand dollars a year. He is the former president of the National Boy Scouts um, Organization of America and he received the Russian Order of Friendship in 2013 and was handed the medal personally by Vladimir Putin and he has signed oil deals with Russia and Kurdish provinces in Iraq, most notably Mosul. And this brings us on to um, the Secretary of the Interior, Ryan Zinke. He is a Navy SEAL commander and a geologist. He got a science bachelor from University of Oregon and he got a business master's from the National University in California and he also got a science master's from the University of San Diego and he was elected as a senator in the Montana Senate and later he was elected as the federal representative for Montana and this brings on brings us on to the Secretary of Energy Rick Perry and this this man is one of the biggest deplorables in this in the whole basket he executed more people than any other governor in US history and the only governor who executed people at a faster rate was his predecessor George Walker Bush he is the longest serving Texan governor in history and in 2012 during presidential debates he stated that he would close three departments if he ever became president and poor Rick was only able to name two. After that he named commerce and education. And the third department he was going to cut, the one he failed to name, was the Department of Energy, the department he now leads. And also, if that wasn't enough um, on Old Rick Perry, he has a hunting ranch called Enward Head. Yep, make of that well too well. And this brings us on to Gary Cohen, who is the National Economic Council within the Executive Office. He is a Democrat and he was the chief operator in investment banking and securities for Goldman Sachs. Now prior to working for Goldman Sachs he worked in US Steel and the New York Mercantile Exchange has wor and he has worked for Goldman Sachs since 1990, another deplorable, and has been described as arrogant and aggressive. Now, this is not draining the swamp, this is filling 
the swamp with the same old vested interests. This really is a cabinet and executive offices filled with deplorables. But let's not pretend for a second that it would have been any different under Hillary Rodham.